Hello. I'd like to begin today, as I so often do, by quoting Aristotle, translated from the Greek. Hair actually goes on growing after death. Psst, Aristotle. Hair. Buddy. No. Do hair and fingernails keep growing after you die? No, is, is the answer, in case you're short on time and just clicked in for a yes or no type deal. But I don't blame you if you thought the answer was yes. That myth has been around for a very long time. In 1877, the New York medical record had a report from a Dr. Caldwell of Iowa. The doctor was present at an exhumation of a body that had been dead for four years. When they dug up the coffin, it had given way at the seams, and hair was pushing its way through the openings. Even though the deceased had been shaved before burial, four years later, his head hair was 18 inches long, his facial hair was eight inches long, and his chest hair, which the doctor called hair of the breasts, which kind of makes sense, was four to six inches long. Now, sorry, Dr. Caldwell, but this didn't happen. Either you're wildly exaggerating, or it's possible you dug up the wrong body entirely. Old hair of the breasts McGee you dug up by accident. Here's how we know that hair and nails don't grow after death. When the body is alive and functioning, fingernails only grow 0.1 millimeter a day, even slower as you get older. There's tissue at the base of the nail, which produces the cells that grow new nail, pushing it up and growing the nail. Ring, ring. Hello. Why, it's high school biology calling, and it wants to remind us that through a series of processes that I don't remember, in order for new cells to be formed, they need glucose, a sugar, the human body's key source of energy. But when you die, glucose is cut off, which means cell production is cut off, which means no new nails. I was in AP biology, by the way. Whoops, still had to Google everything. Hair is kind of the same deal. Cells at the base of the hair follicle rapidly divide to make new cells to grow hair. But they need energy. Energy comes from burning glucose. And remember, when you die, your body's like, no energy, no glucose, you're dead, party's over. When someone tries to take sugar from me, I have much the same reaction. Cookie, or it's not happening. So science doesn't back this up. Why do people keep believing it? I found a textbook from 1900 that says, one, you can die with short black hair and be dug up later and have long stringy yellow hair. And two, your nails can grow so long post-mortem that they curl up beneath your palms and the soles of your feet. Which, and I think about this a lot, makes you wonder all the things they're teaching us now that are just wild bullshit. Free your mind, people. Here's the big reveal that I hope you've stuck around for. Forgetting the stories about foot-long nail growth and coffins bursting with hair, the reason that this myth has persisted for so long and that people continue to believe it is that it often looks like hair and nails are growing post-mortem. When you die, your body often reacts by dehydrating. Your skin retracts and shrivels. And when it does that on your nail bed and on your face, all of a sudden it looks like there's nails and stubble that weren't there before. So observationally, it looks like that corpse over there just grew some new nails and some new hair. And morticians actually have all sorts of creams and plumpers to combat dehydrated skin. So I forgive you people throughout history who have thought they kept growing, because without the benefit of science telling me that's not true, that's what I would have thought too. Question for this episode, what do you think we think is true now that totally isn't, which might not be the best question 
to ask on the internet, especially not on YouTube. Rise, my crazies. Ask a Mortician is brought to you with support from People's Memorial Association and the Co-op Funeral Home, and donations from viewers like you. Oh, Aristotle, you cad.